Ah, it's a nice morning. Nice food. Oh, you son of a Jamie, are you coming in for breakfast? What? I'm I'm in my room. Leave me alone. <sighs> so antisocial. Uh, coming to get him. <sighs> Down here, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. What? No, just go away. I'm playing my game. What? What, what are you what doing? What are you playing? What is this? It's a new new Treyarch game. It's like it's like a hundred bucks down at the store. It's 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 a new call. It's, it's, it's apparently it's the new it's the Call of Duty killer. Really, I've been down here for like six hours just pwning noobs. As you can see, every time I push this button, it will randomly turn the light on and off. And when it's on, I'm winning. And when it's off, I lose. Right. You wouldn't understand. You're not um, meta enough for this kind of activity. So if you could just leave me alone. I'll just have breakfast. Noob tube, really? <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Joel and Jamie here from Rust Revolution. Today we're bringing you another tutorial. What we're showing you today is a redstone randomizer. So I'll just demonstrate it, what you just saw in the uh, intro just then was, as you can see, every time I press this button, it will randomly choose whether or not it wants to activate the circuit. As you can see, I'm pressing the button numerous times, but every time I press it, it doesn't necessarily activate the circuit. What you're seeing there, the circuit is actually pushing a redstone block back and forth, so swapping which lamp is activated. But as you can see, I'm pressing the button lots of times, and it's only doing it every now and then. So it randomly chooses when it wants to activate the circuit. So now, Joel, I guess we'll go on to the building of it. Yep, that sounds good. All right, Joel, so I'll just start by telling you what we need for this one. If you just go into your inventory and go into the redstone, yep, we're going to we'll start off it. with any source of activation. For this demonstration purpose, we'll just be using a button. Button? Cool. Yep. Then you're going to need a dropper. A dropper. Cool. Got it. A hopper. Yep. Hopper. Looks like that. Cool. A redstone comparator. Comparator. Yep. Yep. Cool. Redstone dust. Redstone dust. Easy. A redstone repeater. Redstone repeater, yep. And then for the interesting part of the tutorial, what we're going to be needing is any stackable 64 block. By that I mean any block that can be stacked into 64, so like a stick. Okay, or a so sticks dirt. can be stacked, so I'll get just a stick. Just one? Yep. And then any non-stackable item, so like a mine cart, a pickaxe, anything like that. Alright, I guess swords can't be stacked, so we're actually using a sword for this tutorial. Yes, for once we're actually using a sword, Dom. <laughs> yep, All cool. Right. So now we'll get onto the building of it. All right, Joel, so to start off, what you're gonna wanna do is put your dropper anywhere on the floor, anywhere you like. Cool. Now on the back of the dropper, I want you to put your source of activation. For this, we're just gonna be using a button. You could, of course, just have a line of redstone and a lever, anything you want, just anything to that activate, the, activate dropper. the dropper. Cool. Yep. yep. Now against the dropper, facing into it, I want you to put your hopper. Yep, to do this, right click on the face of the dropper and put the hopper, and as you can see, the hopper actually points into the dropper's mouth. Cool. Yep. Now I want you to place your redstone comparator facing the right way, away from this contraption here. Okay, so just away from the hopper? Yep. Yeah, so that'll be looking into the hopper there for its comparison. Then away from the comparator, I want you to place two blocks of redstone dust. Exactly two. Exactly two. All right, exactly two. And then the redstone repeater. Then the redstone repeater. Yep, done. Now, in the dropper itself, Joel, I yep. want you to put your stackable block and your non-stackable block. Okay, so that's an iron sword and a stick. Done. Yep. Now I'll just quickly explain what this does. So when you press this button, the dropper will randomly select one of the two items in the dropper and put it into the hopper here. Now, stackable items and non-stackable items will give out a different redstone input on the comparator here. So the stackable one will only give out a redstone pulse of one, which won't reach the redstone repeater, repeater here. Yep. But if the non-stackable item gets put into the hopper here, the comparator will read that and send out a pulse of three, which will reach this redstone repeater here and thus continue the circuit out this way. So in that way, every time you press the button, it will randomly select an item, put it into the hopper, read it with the comparator and either activate this redstone repeater here or not. Cool, would now, you like to just test that a bit with, like, with me looking inside this dropper? Sure, I'll just put a redstone lamp on the end here just to show you whether or not it'll be working. Yep, sure. So, so it, as you can see, chooses the sword. That time it turned it on. Yep. The time it chose that time the it stick. Didn't. Yep. That time it chose the stick again. Stick again. 
Now every time it does this, it will just be random. So as you can see, I'm just going to press it a bunch of times. Yep. That time was the sword. So as you can see, it sends out a different strength of pulse depending on which item is put into the hopper. So now, Joel, just for demonstration purposes, will show you how to make what we did it over there. Yep, sure. All right, guys. So just for demonstration purposes, in case you wanted to build something similar to what we have over there. Right now, all we need to build is just a T flip flop in front of this randomizer here. So if you don't actually know how to build a T flip flop, that's perfectly fine. There's a link on screen right now and in the description to a video we've made a few weeks back on how to build one. But Joel, if you'd just like to go ahead and build one just in front here. Yep, sure. So just do this. Easy peasy. Like so. And just put your redstone here. Exactly. Now, if you want to just put the two redstone lamps in front here. Okay. Now, as you can see, what we had over there was every time the redstone circuit is activated, either activated or not by the randomizer, it's activating the T flip flop, which yep. pushes the redstone lamp backwards and forwards in front of one lamp or the other, which, as you can see, does that. And what this does is like helps it act more like a coin toss and less of just like always on or always off or, you know. Exactly. Yep. So that is really it for this tutorial, Joel, I suppose. Yep. Well, um, that's about it. So I guess if you li did like this video and you want to see more of these, subscribe. Otherwise, if you're already subscribed, like you should be, we'll see you next weekend. See you next time. So now, Joel, I guess we'll go into the building of it. Yep, that sounds good. Sounds like it. Hey, no, nah, I changed it. I you changed it. I jazzed it, it up. <laughs> All right, I'm going to explore that.